Good morning, guys. I pray that everybody has had a blessed night's rest. It is Monday morning. Praise God for another day. For waking us up and starting us on our way. No good. He kept Satan's filthy hands off us while we slept on last night. So we're all thankful for that. Today's scripture will be coming from 2 Chronicles uh, chapter 20, verse 15 through 17. And I will be reading it out of my God's Truth for Troubled Times book. It came today with my daily devotional. And I was like, oh, that's a good one for today. And um, it's actually a good one to keep in your mind every day because it's, it's good. It's good. God's word is good for the soul. We we know that, don't y'all? All right. It says, y'all, do not be afraid or be discouraged because of the vast number. This is when they was finna go to battle. And there was so many of the other, of the opponents. And then it was just their little army was so small. Mm. Woo! All right. For the battle is not yours. It's God's. You, my God, do not have to fight this battle. You don't have to fight this battle. Position yourself. Stand still. And see the salvation of my Lord. I'm going to make it personal. See the salvation of my Lord. He going to do it. He do it every time. He going to do it. He telling us to stand still. Take your position and stand still and watch me work. His work is never incomplete. It's always finished. It always comes out with a victorious, oh my goodness, with something victorious to thank him for afterwards. See, sometimes we look at pain sometimes and we look at it as in something that, well, why well, God didn't do nothing? I don't know. What? And through your pain, he carries you through it. He gets the glory. He carries you through your pain. He carries you through your worst storms that you allow him to. Now, if you like me, sometimes I had I had the tendency to try to help God. Y'all already know that didn't work. He don't need our help. He created us. The creator is not going to need the help of what he created. But I tell you, it is. Every battle I've ever been through in my life, I know that God has been there. Why? Because I'm still here. I still stand. That's how I know he's been there. Even when I didn't know he was there, he was there. Because I still stand. Where we is, I'm physically 41 on the 17th of this month. And I still stand, and I stand stronger today than I've ever stood in my life. You know, I watched the TikTok the other day, y'all. I watched a lot of, they have a lot of good Christian and inspirational TikToks. And a man said, he was talking about people who call themselves Christians. He said, you got the nook if you buck Christians. You got the hood Christians. You got the I cuss you out Christians. A whole bunch of things he said. And at the end of the day, a Christian is supposed to be more like Christ. So you can't be all of this and then say you're a Christian. I said, oh, oh, honey, if, it, if, if you was convicted, you should have said, ouch, pinched yourself and said, Lord, I repent and move on. God sends people in our, in our, in the midst of our storm sometimes to convict us of the things that sometimes we don't even realize that we're doing. Sometimes you go through life every day and you don't even realize that some of the things that you do, some of the things that you say, they're not very Christ-like until it's brought to your attention. Then you kind of be like, oh, I didn't even realize I was doing that. Repent. Ask God to forgive you and move on from it. You know, a repentance is a change of heart. It's a change of mind, which leads to a change of heart. Because you know what's in your heart going to come to that mind. It's going to pop out of that mouth. That's why they say, uh, what's in the heart should manifest from the mouth. 
Because, honey, whenever you got an ugly heart, it always comes out of your mouth. And I, I will be the first to say, oh, when I tell you I battled that little old cussing thing, not just terribly, but sin is sin. Ain't no big sin, ain't no little sin. So I battled it. I battled it for a long time. Just a little word here and a little word there. Yeah. Be be honest with yourself, cause one person that one one person that thinks they know you, they really don't. But I can tell you, God knows you in and out, up and down, round and round. You can act one way with with man, and then when you out of people's sight, you're a no, totally different person. Then you be like, who that person? People just about to tell you, I'm just about the same every time they see me. Sometimes I'm not really in the talkative mood, which is weird. Yes. Because sometimes I have a lot on my mind. I tend to I tend to fade off into my own little zone. So, but anyways, guys, I ain't going to keep y'all on here. I pray that y'all have been blessed today by the word. Second Chronicles 20 and 15. And I'm going to read the prayer before we leave here. And I'm going to let y'all enjoy y'all day. It's almost lunchtime. I'm slacking. And it says, Father... Give me the trust I need to take my position in this day with full confidence that you are with me and that you, my father, that God is in control, not you. Surrender your control to God, that God is in control. My eyes are on you, Lord. I am waiting to see your victory shine. In the great name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. All right, guys, I love y'all. Y'all have an awesome day. I'm finna go in here and work on some more Tyrese t-shirts. I'll, I'll probably show y'all uh, them tomorrow because I should be done. And I just want to say thanks. If anybody needed encouraging word, guys, y'all share my face, my uh, YouTube page with people. Um, put it on your Facebook page. And uh, let's just grow this, this page. And I'm going to try to do my best. Even if I have to have my daughter and my husband do it some mornings to continue to bring the word to y'all because people want real. And how more real can it get than somebody who literally has no idea where their son is, but they believe in a God who knows absolutely everything. I believe in God. He knows everything. He knows where my baby is. He knows what took place. And that's what gives me faith to continue to press on, push on, not give in to Satan's devices of, oh, nonsense he be talking. I would not give you no glory if Satan, you are under my feet. You have been defeated over 2,000 years ago by my father. Y'all better keep him under your feet. He has been defeated over 2,000 years ago. He is under your feet. When you start to feel him rise, you stomp on him. Woo! Yeah, I'm gonna get. I'm finna go. I love y'all. Y'all be blessed. Peace.